Five-year-olds concerned about being fat, teenagers helping each other be anorexic. Our Morgan Boydston explores what's called the pro Anna movement, and she has tips for parents on keeping your kids safe in this week's Life in Balance. It sounds shocking. Being thin is more important than being healthy. Um, it's, it's disturbing. It's called the pro Anna movement. Thou shall not eat without feeling guilty. It's a way to just glorify anorexia and bulimia as a lifestyle choice. Websites that offer so-called tips on being anorexic. Provides really ina inaccurate information about health and weight loss. Instagram, Twitter, YouTube flooded with young girls desperate to be thin. I'm going to be thin whatever it takes. It provides them, right, this form, this connection, this validation, support, and relationships with each other, but in, for all the wrong reasons. I just want to talk about some of what I do to stay thin. Juliette Kune is a counselor at Southeast Psych. She works with patients who have eating disorders. It's typically not about the food in and of itself, right? So it's a way to cope with um, emotional turmoil. It's a way to try to manage uh, external circumstances and discomfort. Stay strong and skinny, starve on. She says social media is only feeding the frenzy, making it easier for troubled anorexics to connect. Perhaps even more frightening, the illness is affecting kids. But we're seeing much younger and younger. There's a really high percentage of 10 year olds that uh, have a fear of being fat. We see a hyper awareness in kids as young as five. So what can parents do? So it's really important to have very direct conversations with your kids. I want to be like super thin. I don't want to be this. Life in Balance Sundays on the News at 10 is brought to you by St. Alphonsus.